hello students in this tutorial uh, we uh, are talking about we are learning about the security of the application uh, we have two kind of securities or three kind of security of the application first uh, is that by using app sheet we can create public app public app is uh, uh, is a kind of app which uh, we can share with everyone means anyone who has the the uh, who has the uh, the link will be using it there will be no security uh, there means the, everyone will uh, have access to it and uh, the pricing of such kind of app is different and you can also uh, uh, upload that public app to the to the uh, let's say to the android and ios uh, the pricing of that is different but if you are uh, you want that uh, only the people who are permitted to download and use the application then for that you will uh, you will go to the user manager of this application uh, app sheet and there you will uh, specify the email of that user and uh, app sheet will charge you per user the minimum price per user is five dollar but when you use this at automation uh, procedures uh, automation service then the the price is ten dollar per user so and we uh, app sheet have other uh, uh, pricing plans too means for uh, businesses for enterprise and for that uh, you will contact app sheet but let's see how we can uh, generate how we can secure our app by to uh, by by limiting the use by only allowing those people who has the uh, who we permit to uh, to use our app here it is when we click in the security section it's security tab you will click this radio button uh, uh, required user sign in as you uncheck it means everyone with the link will use but as you click the required user sign in it means that only those people who you are permitted uh, uh, will have access will have access to use your app and you can specify the domain let's say if you want that that user should be uh, should have the microsoft uh, email address or any provider or dropbox or smart sheet you can do that as we uh, or uh, backend is in the google so we uh, for for learning purposes we set it as uh, google and uh, we are not allowing every all signed in user no this is for the public app uh, you can use that uh, toggle for the public uh, app so so far we are good and now let's go to the manager uh, user manager currently i am the owner let's say shaji and co i am the owner i have the access to it let's say i add one user uh, uh, the ceo let's suppose uh, gmail.com we allow this person to have to use because he is now the part of our organization and advanced uh, toggle when we click uh, we have three kind of permissions means to view app to use app to edit app so uh, we permit him to use and edit uh, definition or view uh, app uh, uh, we can give them full access by edit definition means he will edit anything so the role is user and app version we can set the app versions but by default we we give them the default version so uh, uh, let permit that uh, burak dot khatak to use our application as a user so 
uh, here let me click this copy sharing link and uh, to install the uh, that uh, the application you click this copy link and we will send this uh, through email or we can send that through uh, any uh, um, uh, contact app so uh, we will uh, uh, send that through email or let's say by any mean we uh, send that link to the uh, this uh, uh, or ceo borag dot uh, as he click on that that application will be downloaded on his uh, mobile and his desktop etc etc so uh, let's say uh, uh, we copy the link and we send in an email from here so he is now allowed to use you can see Burak is now the user he can now use app in this way now we we have two user now the app sheet will charge is two licenses I mean if we are using for the basic license it will cost us ten dollar if we are going for core uh, uh, license app sheet core it will cost us twenty dollar so uh, this is how the user manager of app sheet works uh, thank you so much hello students uh, now uh, allow me to show you the another uh, level of security it means uh, if we want that uh, only admin only admin can see uh, these uh, the manager uh, uh, view the manager interface and we want that no one else see an interface for that what we will do for that we use a formula uh, which is called user role user role uh, how we can use that formula that formula we will formula we will use in the ux uh, uh, section of the application where we will go to the managers interface and in the manager interface uh, editor we'll go to the display and in the display we have show f and in the show f we will show the user role uh, uh, user role formula and for that should be user role user role user role that should be equal to admin this is the formula that the user role should be the admin only the admin will see this managers interface if we say save now the user with whom we uh, uh, we share this app let's say this uh, Burak dot Khatak, uh, which is our manager uh, he will not be able to see this uh, 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 manager uh, interface how we can check let's say in another browser we are signing in with uh, with that users uh, with that user email and here if you can see that you can see that that view is not available to him only the task is available you can see only the task is available no manager view is available to him he can only see the tasks uh, 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 view so in this way we can restrict someone we cast a user uh, an employee from uh, viewing a certain from having access to a certain interface if we want that uh, uh, only that user 
to whom a specific user can see or um, interface for this uh, in that sense we will use in another formula called the user email so let's uh, use that uh, with r function means with r function r is a formula i'll take two argument this formula condition one in condition one we will say that user email should be should be equal to should be equal to let's say borak dot at the rate of gmail dot com we see that only this man uh, can see uh, the uh, this interface this view and also and also the admin user role uh, is equal to let's say admin admin so now uh, either r means either this person with this uh, email or admin will see this manager interface so let's see whether it works or not let me save it and let me go to the browser with whom we are signed in with that user email we just mentioned in the restriction show f you can see now the tasks are available you can see because we allowed this uh, uh, user with burak.khatak at the rate of gmail with this email we, we specifically mentioned there now he is he has the access no one else only this man with this uh, uh, email address and the admin have access no one else in the company have access to this uh, manager interface only this man with the with 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 the with the email which we uh, we give to the email we, we which, which we mentioned there and the owner the admin of that uh, this app can see this uh, manager's view so in this way we can restrict someone we can allow someone to see uh, uh, the the specific hello students we have a, an another level of security uh, which is to restrict the use of a specific action if we want that a specific action so only a specific user perform a specific action we can do that it is also possible let me give you a demonstration if uh, uh, this is the desktop view of our application and these are the tasks okay and these tasks these are different action edit change uh, task status uh, uh, before it was uh, in progress by clicking that it was it is completed it is changed to complete now if we want that only admin can have access to this specific action if we want that only admin can change the status of a task we can do that also no one else will have access to this action it's a very very uh, advanced level of functionality in uh, an app sheet uh, we have a user uh, a user uh, which have also access to this action we want that only this admin admin have access to not the user this this user have also have access to this uh, action uh, now let's restrict this user to have access to this action the changed uh, task status action how we will do that we will do we will come to the editor and we will come to the behavior 
where we 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 have all the actions and where uh, this action is located this action belongs to the tasks uh, table tasks ui so here where is that uh, action here is this action change task status come to this action editor and here come to the behavior in the behavior we have this only if this condition and true here we will add the formula that user role formula user role formula which is equal to admin if user role is equal to admin only this uh, action is accessible now to the admin no other user now we will see that user will not see this so, uh, let's check it let's check it out save this uh, update let's save this update and you can see the admin have still access to this uh, uh, this action but if i go to the user dashboard user application there by refreshing it let me refresh the app because we update the change now you can see this user have no access to this uh, uh, action so this is the third level very advanced level security thank you so much